Hey everyone, welcome to Discover the OC. I'm Jules Wilson, your host and lifestyle realtor here at Seven Gables Real Estate. Now listen, we always want to bring to you new, uh, you know, tips and ideas and especially businesses or individuals who we believe can help you make your life better and help you achieve your goals. Now I'm always about real estate and today I'm so excited to have Nick Lind on. Now Nick is the owner and see, or actually the founder of Revere Real Estate. So good to have you, Nick. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Well, listen, so when I say real estate, I don't mean real estate agent. I'm not having another real Toronto, though I do like my friends, but let's get serious. Um, Nick is actually, or his company, they're actually real estate developers, and they're also custom home builders. So the reason I wanted to have you on, Nick, is you have such a, I've met a lot of developers. I've met a lot of custom home builders. I haven't met really anybody who does both. Mm -hmm. So you're offering an amazing service. So why don't you tell people, really, what's your background? How did you get started? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, a, it's funny, we were having the conversation, and thank you again for having us on. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the two points there is absolutely the way we got started, but the differentiating factors, we're hearing it more and more, that there's sort of compartmentalized business strategies of either there's a builder doing just custom home builds for clients right or they're doing their own spec deals which just for those that don't know spec is where you know you're doing it for arbitrage so similar to the fix and flip strategy mm -hmm. but on on just a ground up scale uh, you're going in and with your own funds or your own clients funds you're going in and from your land acquisition to your building costs you know you sell the project and obviously you're aimed to have a margin there that margin is for profit of so course split right and that's where you're doing it on your own um and typically those paths don't really cross right. so to that point of the differentiating factor in the conversation we were having before this is you know one of the unique i think differentiators that we have or that we offer is that we're taking a background in spec development single family homes by the way we revere does only residential we're okay not in the commercial space mm -hmm. um is we're taking our experience and our relationships with subcontractors and with the labor force that we work with on a daily basis, we are taking from a very cost sensitive, very budget sensitive project to then a custom home build where we're offering the same product and the same level of finishes, but with our labor force that is a little bit more cost sensitive than some of those. And then I won't speak for anybody else and um, you know, definitely have our opinions, but I think there's a lot of great custom home builders, but it isn't as common to have a custom home builder be a little bit more sensitive to cost. Uh, and we just happen to have that experience. And we've sort of, you know, what we feel have done a good job of marrying the two. Now to your other question, where this all started is that 10 years, I was a financial planner. So I was doing wealth management and financial planning. So you knew all about saving money. <laughs> I knew all, I, I spent a lot of time doing the nuances and being very, you know, myopic with respect to individual finances mm -hmm. with, overall goals and objectives and measurable and attainable steps towards getting to that. There's a lot of my background that has transferred very well, fortunately, into what we do now. Um, but I was a financial advisor for 10 years and I had my own practice in Irvine and eventually started having the conversations with clients, especially around retirement age, right. about how hot it was in the real estate market. And anyways, make a long story short, started participating and, and acting on behalf as a fiduciary with clients in the real estate development project. Sure. Saw great returns, happy clients, loved what we were doing, and eventually just opened up in 2018. Been doing it ever since, full time. We have quite a bit going on right now, and we're eager and excited to continue to focus on process, structure, and uh, and continue to be a resource for clients. Well, I love that. Now, one thing I also really like about Nick, uh, your company we were talking earlier, is the your subs really almost feel like a little bit like your employees, like they have skin in the game, right? oftentimes if they're working on the development projects and then you bring them over to the custom home build so that's that's very unique right and yes. that saves money it potentially it, saves a lot of money it, right it does it does i think that there's a couple things so to speak big picture and then get a little bit more specific on it one of the things that's very been very rewarding and helpful is that the subcontractors worked on so many with us that we have a lot of control over schedule. Oh, because, okay. Because, you know, a lot of what they're doing... You mean doing, they, that, that translates to they show up? Yeah, they show up. <laughs> they show up because we have a handful of other projects that are currently working on with them. We have a very close relationship with them. We've been working with them for, for several years. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a very specific Orange County group, a very specific Los Angeles group. We do projects, custom home builds, spec projects. Anywhere in coastal Orange County, coastal Los Angeles, 
really more so depends on the deal or our passion toward a particular project or not okay. than it does the, the exact location. Uh, but yeah, our subcontractors have very much a vested interest in ensuring that we do as great of a job as we can because that on the spec side allows us to continue to propel, take those earnings and put them into additional projects, ergo giving them additional work. And, and, and it, yeah, so it, it continues to, to grow and develop with that base and with that labor force and where it transitions to custom home build is absolutely, you know, we have the relationships with people that are a little bit more cost sensitive. You know, we are very specific to the level of finishes. So it does require us a little bit more attention on our part versus yeah. the subcontractor base where you're paying a little bit more and it's just a white glove yeah. service. Yeah. Um, but we, we're happy to. We have a passion and, and we definitely get our cup filled with showing up on the site and making those attention to detail type decisions that the subcontractor base you know, is very much requiring us to have that level of direction mm -hmm. because of their, uh, you know, the price for their scope. Yeah. Well, the so. other thing I love is that if you're working, you have a multitude of, of development projects going on as we speak, right? But with you constantly being in the development world and con building multi uh, units or whatever, mm -hmm. um, it seems to me you would know the latest trends and the best things to buy and because you're not just going from one home every six months or every year or whatever right? right so i think that's another gift you're bringing you're constantly the funnel's constantly getting filled right it, it is and the other thing so my husband and i built a couple yeah. new houses and i always got si excited i think every, when you see the general contractor show up no offense to subs but it sounds to me your your subs almost feel like the, they're so involved they almost like an arm of you is that accurate uh, they, they are absolutely an arm of us, and we could not be doing what we do without them. And our hats go off to everybody that is participating in the projects with us, especially from the labor side. I mean, we couldn't emphasize that enough. Last week, we had our, uh, our Christmas party, and our foreman, our major and most important correspondence or liaison to the direct, I mean, is sitting at the other head of the table, and it's, it, it could not be you know more accurate. I think that um, when... The, the way that our structure is as a, as a company, I've always been extremely obsessed with process, structure, routine, schedule. And you know we have superintendents and project management that's on site, boots on the ground every single day. Oh, I love so that. So there's a representative of our general contracting arm with, whatever, with, with any real residential project that we're doing that's there at all, almost at all times. Whoa, we wow. have local cameras. That we, I mean, it, you get very, we get very, very specific. At any point, we can see exactly what's going on, who's there, who's not there. We have boots on the ground. Wow. Um, and we have the software. Th thankfully, to our uh, our team back at the office, we have the software that continues to track that in every way. So. Well, I love that. Now, nothing that's really important, whether you know, I'm a realtor, obviously, whether it's real estate, construction, developing, whatever, relationships. And I'm just believing that since you are involved in a lot of developments of whether it's townhomes or other big projects, you must have those tight relationships with the city officials and planning and all that. Am I wrong? Uh, we do. Right? Yeah, and that would make a custom home lot. build even easier because oftentimes it's that relationship yeah. that gets those plans through or gets questions answered faster. So um, you've got a lot of extra little um, benefits that I really love about what you're doing, Nick. Oh, That's why I wanted to have you on. So you said you cover uh, LA, LA uh, Ocean, er, um, Coastal LA and Coastal Orange County. Okay, so how do people get a hold of you? Because I just think what you're doing is fantastic. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you there's there's several ways. You go to our website, reverierealestateco.com. It's R E V E R E realestateco.com. Um, you can look at us on Instagram, Revere Real Estate. Uh, you know, send us a direct message. You can find me, Nick Lind, on on LinkedIn, and uh, yeah, our website has all of our contact information with office and contact for phone, email. Um, let, let me ma make one mention on what you were saying. There's was, there was two things. One is on the design or the trends. Yeah. I feel like I tangent in that. A lot of our relationships, you know, we, we find, we definitely find pride in what we know we're good at and areas that, that we can find the right source to fill, to fill a need. Mm -hmm. um, we have great relationships with interior designers. Wonderful. As developers and general contractors doing custom builds, it's very, very important for us to make those design decisions early on. How I would answer that question differently had a do-over, I would think that it's important to identify to anybody looking at building that you're making design decisions very, very early. So as the ones that are helping execute 
putting all of the finishes together at the rough in stage before there's insulation or drywall. You're right. making decisions on where the lighting is going to go, for example. That's an easy one. Lighting and plumbing, I think, are the most easiest to to comprehend. If you're going into a van, you know, into a bathroom, you're looking at the vanities, vanity heights, the widths. You have to know where the plumbing is going behind it. Of course. The valve coming off the wall versus just out of the countertop. The lighting, whether it's a ceiling pendant or wall sconce, is that, you know, if they're wall sconces, you know, you have to know how big the mirror is in between. That's right. The There's a lot of facets to that. But what we've done, and in, 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 in if I may, what I think we've done a, a great job of is because we're so proactive and proficient in our work in general, I think where it, where it finds itself in this particular area is from a design perspective. We absolutely pay attention to detail and we're there as the gen general, but we do have a great team of designers. We have great relationships with designers that come in and just put an entire packet together. Wonderful. And you show up on the site and it's we've just poured the slab. So we've got soup to nuts on all of that very early on. And then with the relationships with the different municipalities and the planning or building officials, right. um, we immediately get great relationships with the inspectors. I think that it's, it's not uncommon to forget how relevant and important the inspectors are. Oh, yeah. Because these, these city inspectors are almost equally as important as the officials that are that are getting us the building permit. That's right. Because so we immediately have a pre-construction meeting. We have the inspector oh, out. Oh, that's good. Our, you know, basically all of our our major trades out all at the same time. Um, but the building officials. One thing is not only the relationships with the building officials, but if this is something you're doing or you're getting into, one t tip I may suggest is that you definitely want to find, especially on the engineering side, you want to find the engineers that really know and have experience with that particular city. So architecture is one thing, and there's definitely nuances from a planning perspective. A lot of that's pretty straightforward. I think where, where, where we can continue to, to harp on the idea, structural also, you, you can kind of get a civil engineering, definitely do your civil engineering with somebody who's local, who's an expert at that particular city. And do you recommend those people? I do, yeah, okay. all the time. I mean, I, I Definitely, you know, ha we have a handful of civils that we're using right now. Yeah. I, I won't go into detail on that, but I will say that, um, you know, if I could give a tip to somebody who's getting into what we do, definitely find a civil engineer that's that's local um, and definitely put, you know, timelines on, on ret retrieving material back. But, uh, I mean, this is... Yeah. Um, my, I just immediately start to gravitate toward, you know, if I think that there's something that could be helpful for somebody and, and they can actually... Well, two things you said, I think, that really represent your company. I love how you said you want processes in place. Mm -hmm. That's big. Um, and the second thing that really hits me, um, Nick, that I think is really important is boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. People want to hear boots on the ground. They want to know you're there, your team's there. And I like how the fact that your entire team really feels like you have a team. You're all vested. You're all into it. And from start to finish, if you don't know the answer, you can direct me where to find it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. We have clients, and this is the most, oftentimes, it's their primary residence. Yeah. It's that's the most true. intimate thing you can do is build them their master bedroom. Yeah. Their master bed, you know, or their primary yeah. bedroom, their primary bath. Yeah. But I think other than getting married, building a house together is the most it's, stressful it's, thing. <laughs> it's, it's a big deal. It's exactly. a big deal. And it, you know, only through experience do you realize how significant these decisions are. Yeah. And the types of decisions, you know, somebody in our, our shoes is thinking, okay, it's a mirror or it's like, you know, yeah. it's a lighting fixture. It's, a, it's all good it's a till, it's, till it's material. not right. Yeah, right. it's, but it's their it's it's their bathroom. It's where they're gonna spend every, you know, it's it's so significant. And so the reason why I reference all of that is to your point. When you tell them that you're gonna have boots on the ground, yeah. When, when you have, right as we get into the and embark at stage one of a custom home build, there's already a communication agreement. Yeah. This is the number of site visits that oh, you get. Oh, really? This is the wow. amount of times that the I've never heard of that discuss, discussed because we're want and, and we immediately set up weekly briefings oh, that's with the clients. Awesome. It, it does one of two things. It does a couple of things. One is it lets them rest assured, like you said, they're very pleased to hear boots on the ground. Yep. Similarly, they're pleased to know that there's a level of ex expectation that we are we're set to meet. Right. The other thing is it is it also, you know, it, it definitely helps our schedule. Because of course. I'm saying, you know, this is my time. What's good for the client. client's good for you. Right. Yeah. This is, you know, and we, we have great accountability back and forth and if there's anything I can harp on enough, it's it's having regular communications with clients that we're yeah. working with, making them feel comfort, com comfortable and confident in the fact that this is what we did last week, this is what we're doing this week, this is what we're set out to do next week, here you go. Well, my goodness, if your dream is to either get involved in a development project, right, 
um, or for a custom home built to build your dream home. Listen, I'm going to add a third thing to you. So you've got processes, your boots on the ground. And you know what, Nick, you have passion. So I love the fact that you have passion. So contact Revere Real Estate. Clearly, Nick Lind is very passionate about his business. I've met some of his team, and they're very committed to making whatever your development or custom home project be just, uh, I'm just going to say magical, because that's what we're all looking for. Thank you so much, Nick. Thank you. We appreciate you.